for today's chemistry session my class 10 students i hope that you all are keeping safe doing absolutely amazing and today we are going to quickly revise study of compounds at cl okay so you have to pay attention in the session so quickly we are going to revise the chapter if in case there is some part that is left from the chapter today we will be covering up all that in the one shot revision session okay with me your chemistry master teacher shilpi kaushik herad vidantu if in case you haven't subscribed to the channel you are a new student then kindly do that so that you do not miss on any of the videos that we are coming up with so you have to subscribe to the channel you have to hit the like button and stay in the session till the very end okay right now shilpi ma'am is taking a session on vedantu's interactive platform for all the youtube students so this is an interactive session and there are a lot of pros of taking session here on the platform you can check the features by giving simply you can tap on the link that is given on the description box of the video the very first link you do get your uh, idea about your speed and accuracy the complete feedback okay the seamless learning and quiz experience that is going to be amazing you can track your overall class performance fine so make sure that you join the session try to join these sessions on the wave platform so that you can get the best experience okay so let's get started with hydrogen chloride the compounds we're gonna study one shots so i hope you all are super duper ready so talking with the structure of hydrogen chloride well a lot of students think that hcl is actually an ionic compound but it is not okay hydrogen chloride there is a single co covalent bond that is being formed here hydrogen is sharing its only one electron with one electron of chlorine that you can see chlorine has a configuration 287 so there are seven valence electrons with chlorine hydrogen has only one electron okay so for the octet completion chlorine shares one electron with one electron of hydrogen hydrogen gets a complete duplet like this happy hydrogen and chlorine gets a complete octet right there is this single covalent bond that is present among the two between the two hydrogen chloride the boiling point is minus 83 degrees celsius melting point is minus 113 you don't have to learn the melting and boiling point just for the knowledge information basic things you should know the solubility so let me tell you hydrogen chloride gas has very very high solubility in water okay so now because it is covalent it is soluble in organic solvents like acetone, toluene, etc. Means they are the known polar solvent here actually. Okay, and if you talk about HCl, it has a pungent choking smell. So you can't be in contact with it for a longer period of time. Sour in taste. So you know that. The, in fact, the aqueous solution is also sour in taste, that is acidic and it doesn't have any color like that, it's like colorless. And where do we generally see hydrogen chloride? So, hydrochloric acid form, like you know, in the acid form, you know, it is present in the gastric juice in the mammals also, you know, it is present to help us with the digestion process, isn't it? helps in digestion so the food that we eat that is broken down by it so the absorption of all the essential uh, vitamins and minerals takes place there so it is present in the juices of course apart from that it occurs in the volcanic emissions also the volcanic eruptions you can see hydrogen chloride gas that comes over there okay apart from that if you are in a chemistry lab you want to synthesize hydrogen chloride you can do it simply by the direct combination this is most simple method of synthesizing it like we require hydrogen gas we need chlorine gas in the presence of sunlight we will get hydrogen chloride gas but the point is that we cannot use direct sunlight okay that would be explosive in nature we have to use diffused sunlight so that's like it's passing through something okay it's coming via medium of something basically so that's not very strong the reaction is explosive in the direct 
sunlight okay so you have to be aware that you take the diffuse sunlight but and also if you take some catalyst like activated carbon then the reaction can even take place in the dark okay so it's not like ki dark hoga to ma'am it would be very slow will the reaction happen yeah otherwise like normal conditions mein you do it in the presence of diffused sunlight it cannot take place in the dark so if because the speed will be very slow hai na so if you want to fasten the reaction if you want to support the reaction and you want to do it in dark then you can take some catalyst like the activated carbon because it will be absorbing the hydrogen over here okay one of the reactant and it increases the speed of the reaction theek okay? hai increases the reactivity basically so you can see first method is the direct synthesis apart from that there is second very nice method that is the laboratory synthesis of hydrogen fluoride gas okay so we can synthesize it in lab as well hydrogen fluoride so what we have to do for that we need to take concentrated sulfuric acid and we make it react with the sodium chloride okay so what are the reactants that we need for this if we want to synthesize it in lab then you require sodium chloride okay if you see these chudu chudu reactions i will show you on the next slide okay so what are the reactants we start with nacl and concentrated sulfuric acid in the this flask that we have taken okay now there are some questions which come Ma'am, can we take any other salt instead of NaCl? Can we take any other acid? I want to take nitric acid. Ma'am, can we do the reaction at high temperature? So, guys, such questions are asked in the board exam from you. I C S is going to ask you such chhoto chhoto conceptual questions that why you are not taking nitric acid for the reaction. That is also an acid. Why the temperature is not above two hundred? So you have to keep this thing in mind. but before that you should know what is to be done in the process so we have to take common salt in a flask and then we pour some concentrated sulfuric acid and we have to keep the temperature below 200 degree celsius then we see one of the product that we get is what we desired hydrogen fluoride gas apart from that we get sodium hydrogen sulfate as well so question why do we take sodium chloride only because you know it is cheap okay so that is why it's preferred over the other metal chlorides which are relatively expensive fine apart from that you cannot use nitric acid no because that is highly volatile in nature okay volatile means it is easily converted to vapors easily converted to vapors okay nitric acid is easily converted to vapors and now what will happen hcl is also coming out as a gas only so nitric acid and hcl that can mix up okay it can interfere with one of our product so we avoid the use of nitric acid it can come in the exam so please be ready with that okay how can we purify now how can we dry it in fact so you are having the next process if you want to dry it then you need to be aware ki which you know agent i have to use which drying agent should be used by me so you have to take concentrated sulfuric acid for the drying purposes okay why concentrated sulfuric acid ma'am can i not take phosphorus pentoxide a very good drying agent ma'am can't i take calcium oxide that you use in a lot of reactions it can again absorb water so no we don't use them because if we take drying agents like phosphorus pentoxide or calcium oxide they might absorb so they might absorb chodo water absorption leave that they might react with our acid the gas basically hydrogen chloride so phosphorus pentoxide phosphorus is a non metal non metal oxides are acidic in nature yes are they acidic in nature yes okay if you talk about calcium oxide metal 
basic in nature okay so it's a basic oxide hcl is going to be acidic so there will be a very simple neutralization reaction in fact even though you have phosphorus as a non metal it is still going to react with hcl okay so you can see it can easily react and can disturb our one of the like the major product that we are trying to obtain so no we have to avoid the use of these drying agents so we simply go with the concentrated sulfuric acid okay now the next thing comes ma'am how can we collect it what is the method so guys we are revising the chapter i hope that you are taking notes also along with that because a quick revision will help you in the board exams okay the collection can be done by downward delivery that is by the upward displacement of air okay so by what method they can ask you hcl gas is collected by downward displacement or upward displacement so you have to remember upward displacement because it is heavier than air okay so if it's heavier than air so you know that air the air in the vessel will be displaced there and it will go down like that okay so remember that upward displacement of air hcl getting in because it's heavier than the air can we collect it over water no point because i told you in the beginning also it is a very very much soluble in water so no we cannot simply collect it over the water because it's highly soluble there okay very important thing next ma'am how can we identify it how can we identify hydrogen chloride gas so when the jar is completely filled okay these are the hcl fumes you can see the jar is completely filled with hcl fumes you will see the fumes are coming on the top of the mouth okay so now if you want to know whether the gas is completely filled or not like the container your jar is completely filled or not you can simply take a rod take a glass rod okay dip it in ammonium hydroxide ye glass rod hai which we have dipped in the ammonium hydroxide already and then we bring it near to the mouth of the container where hcl is getting okay so you see that i am showing you again see pay attention yeah see yahan pe i have taken a rod this rod initially i dipped in the ammonium hydroxide so after dipping it in ammonium hydroxide on the top basically there is coating of ammonium hydroxide i will bring it near to the jar which has hcl coming out of it so what will happen there will be a reaction between hcl and ammonium hydroxide a base and an acid simply giving you the salt that is ammonium chloride apart from that water so how can you confirm that yes it was hcl the jar is filled with it the dense white fumes of ammonium chloride you will see you see all these dense white fumes we take off the ammonium chloride okay yahan se that can confirm that yes hcl was filled with it okay the container was filled with the hcl basically so dense few white fumes of ammonium chloride will be produced so they will prove that jar is completely filled with the hcl gas fine these are some precautions that you have to do before synthesizing hydrogen chloride gas in the lab that make sure you do all that the lower end of the funnel must be dipped in the concentrated sulfuric acid the, the delivery tube should be dipped in the drying agent also that is concentrated sulfuric acid so you have to take all the precautions and temperature is a very important condition here that should be nearly 200 degrees celsius not very high not very low chemical properties of hydrogen chloride gas the first is combustibility we can't say the gas is combustible nor we can say it's supporter of combustion but it will extinguish the burning spleen okay so it is not going to support combustion it will not burn it will rather extinguish the burning spleen fine apart from that thermal dissociation if you heat it above 500 degree celsius it will break down to give you hydrogen and chlorine gas respectively okay very much like well obvious thermal means therm means in the presence of heat okay so it's like thermal decomposition is happening if the temperature is high
if we see the reaction with the metals then in metals there is a generally displacement reaction that it would be showing based on the reactivity like if you say zinc reacting with hydrogen chloride if you see over here iron sodium so all these are more reactive than hydrogen zinc is more reactive than hydrogen iron is more reactive than hydrogen sodium is more reactive than hydrogen so they all displace hydrogen which goes out as h2 gas apart from that we get the metal salt right like zinc chloride iron and sodium okay respectively metal chlorides you would be getting there so it's a simple what displacement reaction now with ammonia this is a very 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 important reaction guys please take notes this can come in the exam with ammonia it is going to combine and give you dense white fumes of ammonium chloride. The beauty of this reaction is that we are taking two gaseous reactants. Ammonia gas we have taken. HCl gas we have taken. The product that we get is ammonium chloride solid. Ammonia gas. With HCl gas gives us ammonium chloride solid. So two gases combining to form a solid. Isn't it amazing guys? Super amazing. Yes? Yes. Okay, very good. Remember that. The next is hydrochloric acid. Okay, so so far we were talking about the HCl gas. Now we are talking about the acid. It means we have the aqueous solution into picture now. So, how we are going to do this? Very simple. HCl gas has very high solubility in water. So, you have to take HCl gas, dissolve it in water. Okay, when hydrogen chloride gas is dissolved in water, hydrochloric acid will be formed basically. And the covalent compound ionizes in water now due to the polar nature of it. Right, so HCl aqueous solution. It ionizes basically. You can say it will be present as H plus ions and chloride ions now. Fine. H plus in water gives us hydronium ions. So you can see over here HCl in water is going to ionize because of the polar nature. Means there is an electronegativity difference between hydrogen and chlorine. Chlorine is more electronegative. It pulls the shared pair of electron of bond towards itself and hydrogen is electropositive. Fine. So we can say that this aqueous solution of HCl gas is known as hydrochloric acid, which is simply formed by dissolving HCl in water. Okay, guys. Easy peasy? Yes. Lemon squeezy. The physical properties of hydrochloric acid. So boiling point, you can see it's also a volatile acid, easily vaporized. Solubility, readily soluble in water in all the proportion. But you have to be avoid of it because it's a strong acid and it is corrosive in nature. So it can cause blisters on the skin. Okay, color nahi hota, pungent choking smell and it is also sour to taste, right? If we see some of the chemical properties of it, if you talk about the nature, then aqueous solution is strongly acidic. It is going to show you the color change of the indicators like phenolphthalein is there. Iske andar phenolphthalein will still stay colorless. It's a gif, I can't scribble over here, you can see. Okay, so you can see here, phenolphthalein in bases turns pink, but in acid stays colorless. So HCl, if you add phenolphthalein indicator, it will stay colorless. And if we are talking about blue litmus paper, that will be turning red because HCl aqueous solution is an acid, yes. Because it gives us free H plus ions in the water. Action on metals is going to be very much similar like the displacement reaction. Sodium is more reactive than hydrogen, so displaces. Again, zinc is displacing hydrogen, iron did the same. So we are getting the metal chlorides here, metal salt basically. Which salt? Metal chloride salt. Okay, along with the liberation of the hydrogen gas. Simple. Then we are having the next thing, action, of, action on the oxides and hydroxides. 
so we are talking about oxide let's say magnesium oxide it is a metal oxide so it would be basic in nature you know that metal oxides and hydroxides are generally basic in nature so they will be reacting with hcl which is an acid to give us salt and water so it's a simple what kind of reaction beta tell me in the chat neutralization reaction yes so same thing salt and water you are getting in this case also so neutralization reaction is like simple double displacement reaction you can make the products by exchanging the ions like magnesium ions combined with chloride to give magnesium chloride and we get h plus with oxide gives us water easy peasy lemon squeezy then we are having with the salts of weak acids okay salt of weak acid like we are having calcium carbonate it is a salt of a weak acid kaise it's a salt of carbonic acid carbonic acid if you make it react with calcium hydroxide you are going to get calcium carbonate and water okay so what is this salt of a weak acid like carbonate similarly sulfides you can take sulfides aap le sakte ho so when we make them react with the hcl the reaction is very much important watch it out beta kya hone wala hai dekho when we have a metal carbonate with the acid the gas liberated is carbon dioxide when we are having a metal sulfide with the acid we will be getting sulfur dioxide when we have metal sulfide understand the difference you understand sulfide ion is so3 2 negative sulfide is s2 negative understanding okay yes so sulfide ke case mein we get so2 gas and in case of sulfides we get hydrogen sulfide gas So watch it out. ये बहुत important है H two S S O two and C O two. Fine. Easy peasy lemon squeeze. Very good. Then we are having action of the nitrates with the nitrates. Normally dilute hydrochloric acid will not react with the nitrate, but we do have an exception. We have silver nitrate. silver nitrate and hcl is going to react with each other it's again a, it's a type of precipitation reaction okay which is formed by exchange of ions silver ions go with the chloride ions we do get white precipitate in the water silver chloride ke white ppt you would be getting okay and h plus ions combined with nitrate to give us hno3 simple so it is going to give us thick curdy white precipitate of the silver chloride fine easy very easy the next we have formation of aqua regia uske liye bhi we have to use the hcl here concentrated hydrochloric acid is taken in three parts and we take concentrated nitric acid in one part okay they would be reacting and giving us one very important thing that is nascent chlorine nascent chlorine is basically atomic chlorine kya hota hai ye atomic chlorine okay so what will happen jaise let's say you are having the inert elements like we have platinum platinum is unreactive but it can react with aqua regia because of the nascent chlorine these nascent chlorine will be combining with platinum and leads to the formation of a complex the same thing happens with gold also gold doesn't react with any acid but it will be reacting making a complex in aqua regia okay it is highly corrosive highly fuming fuming as well as corrosive in nature okay very much fuming and corrosive in nature so we have to just like see oh god we have to be aware of it okay very much harmful very much harmful basically so that was the quick revision of our chapter okay so all the important reactions are written here i will make sure that you guys get the notes from the description box of the video after 48 hours of the video so do check that out okay now we are going to talk about vedantus 
pro courses okay so guys you would be knowing that vidantu has done a brilliant thing for all of its students and what was the purpose what was the intent behind it vidantu always dreams about students education how can we give the quality education to every child of the country without compromising with the quality when we talk about the quality education the quality has to be top notch at the same time the prices needs to be affordable by the students isn't it so that is what vidantu worked upon vidantu was like how can we launch a course with very very low price that students can afford easily like maybe the fees that you used to give for one month is now the fees you will give for one year that is what vidantu has done for you okay and we've made this super affordable courses without compromising with the quality so i'm going to tell you about the features of vidantu's courses the pro light course just taking you to that but you can note down ma'am's coupon code and what is that ska pro if you apply this code to get any of the subscription of vedantu you will be getting extra 10% off shall be kaushik army pro so ma'am is going to show you now okay so you have to go to the link that is given in description box of this video sabse pehle jaake aapko milega the link and what is that link यहाँ पे विदांतु प्रो लाइट कोर्सेस सो यू हैव टू टैप ऑन देयर ओके आई टैप ऑन इट नाउ व्हाट एवर इज दिस screen that is coming in you are concerned about this you will change from here i am in class 10th i am now going to class 11 ठीक है क्लास 11 में मैंने जाना है आई वांट टू गो फॉर ऑल बोर्ड्स माय टारगेट इज टू प्रिपेयर फॉर जे 2024 आई एम कंफर्टेबल इन द इंग्लिश बैच सो आई वुड बी व्यूइंग द कोर्स एंड व्हाट द लॉन्च प्राइस फॉर टू ईयर जे प्रोग्राम इज 15000 रुपीस यस इट इज 15000 रुपीस मैम इज दिस फॉर टू ईयर्स Yes, beta. Is this for J, ma'am? Yes, J double E के लिए ही है. Ma'am, will I get the study material? Yes. Ma'am, will I get the test series? That is important for a competitive exam like J. Definitely, test series is a vital part. When is the batch starting? It started on twenty third of May. You can take an enrollment in that batch, but still there are some seats which are left there. But still, if you feel like no, ma'am, I want to wait for another batch, so you can tell the team they will enroll you in another batch also. Okay, but the for now the simple agenda should be to get a seat. Okay, because every batch that we are forming here has attendance less than hundred students. language is going to be english physics chemistry maths all the three subjects are covered for the j preparation classes by the top master teachers live doubt solving by the class teachers is there you will be getting live quizzes leaderboards test series and everything is in the package so tap on select and buy course so this is the normal pro class that we are having we also have the pro light like this is a pro light this is pro classic and the third one is pro plus you have applied maths coupon code already ska pro so i'm going to take the pro light subscription i will tap on buy now 15000 for 2 years bhi nahi hai the moment you applied ska pro the price is comes down to 13500 Two years, J program. Yes, definitely. Okay, so guys, enroll there. Okay, grab a seat because all the features are being included here. No quality is compromised. We have produced outstanding results in J twenty twenty one. For twenty four, again, we are targeting the same, and we know that you will work hard for us. So you there would be live in class doubt solving by the class teachers. There is going to be in class quizzes, leaderboards, and everything. Study material के लिए you will be getting the PDF. Yes, okay. so each and every thing you are getting basically in this program 15000 to year us may be if you don't improve your fees would be paid back to you it will be returned to you 
So make sure that you grab a seat over there. Okay. And clear the GE exam. I went to NIT. I want my students to go to an IIT. Okay, and be the greatest engineers of all times because you want to be. Don't just go to an IIT because you see a brand value with the name, because you see a tag value. Go because you want to be the best engineer. Okay, so go go and clear the NEET exam not to look cool because you have to be the best doctor. Fine, guys. So you have to work hard for your dreams, and all the best with that. Now we will talk about the uses of hydrochloric acid. So you know, one of the use we have seen is in the preparation of aqua regia, which is used for jewelry washing, or if you want to clean the vessels. That you use in chemistry lab, you can use it. Okay, industrial uses बहुत सारे हैं. It is used for the like simply you can say conversion purposes inside the body. Also digestion may helps you. <clears throat> the dyes, drugs, paints, etc. May we make use of it. Okay, and chlorine and chlorides की form में we use it in the dry cells. So in the preparation basically. Okay, so uses of hydrochloric acid is in the manufacturing of these. things fine so there are lot of applications medicine mein bhi bahut sare applications hote hain that we use in digestion mein we have talked about this is something you can write and this is your homework question give the test for hcl hydrogen chloride gas and hydrochloric acid okay you have to give the test in the comment section i am telling you for the gas hcl gas has a characteristic irritating smell okay it is going to give you thick white fumes of ammonium chloride we have seen this reaction when you dip the rod in ammonia solution okay and you bring it near to that hcl so you will be getting the thick white fumes of ammonium chloride now tell me about hydrochloric acid how can i test it in the comment section okay So, if in case you haven't subscribed to the channel, please do that. You can reach out to me on Instagram. I am Kitain as my ID. And thank you so much for attending the session, guys. Now you were so active. You all deserve a big round of applause. Okay, amazing, guys. Ma'am, we'll see you next time. If you have any confusion, any chapter you want me to take, please write that in the comment section. Okay, I'll see you next time. Bye, bye.